Hi, this is Samuel from Laptop Magazine. We're here today taking a look at a fascinating new technology from Lucid that allows you to have an external graphics card operating over your Thunderbolt port. So you can just imagine that you've got yourself an Ultrabook that's thin and light, 3.5 to 4 pounds, maybe even less, and it's only running on integrated graphics, so it can get decent gaming experience maybe, but certainly not a high-end gaming experience. But when you come home and you've got your big monitor and you've got your your nice setup with your keyboard and your gaming mouse. Well, what if you could take that Ultrabook and plug it in via Thunderbolt to a source of unlimited graphics power in an external, uh, an external graphics card? So over here we have uh, a box here that contains an AMD graphics card. And over here we have a motherboard uh, with Thunderbolt, but you could just imagine that this was your Ultrabook. Now, here we're going to start out with, this un with the Thunderbolt port unplugged. And you'll see over here that we've just got a typical Windows 7 desktop. And if you look at the, at the uh, device manager, you'll see that we just have Intel integrated graphics. So we're going to run 3D Mark 06, and you're going to see that the frame rate is going to be so-so. But this is about what you can expect from Ivory Bridge integrated graphics. Today, you're going to see that if you look down here, you're getting maybe 29, 30, 28 frames per second, which in a game is just at the edge of playable. Nothing to write home about. Maybe you can see some ghosting go, going on here. So if we exit this, we're going to see what happens when we plug in the Thunderbolt. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this wire. Oh, we're going to, oh we have to close the application because you can't do this in, in mid-application have it recognized and we're going to plug in the Thunderbolt port to our Ultrabook here, which is really simple. And you're gonna see over here on the screen, it's going to just take a second to adjust. And once it's adjusted, you'll see that, holy cow, we have another graphics card in here as if it was part of our Ultrabook. We now have an AMD Radeon HD 6700 series graphics card, but it could be any graphics card. It could even be double graphics cards, who knows? So now we're gonna see what happens when we go into 3D Mark and run it with the power of discrete graphics. So same test, and you'll see a completely different frame rate. You're gonna see now that this is going to be an amazing 88, 89, 92, 90 frames a second. It's going to be completely, completely fluid. There's a little logo here from Lucid that shows you that you're on Thunderbolt. You can see here where we were getting ghosting before with this scene. It's completely fluid. That's what happens when you have discrete graphics. So this is kind of an interesting scenario where you have the possibility of discrete graphics on, an, on your notebook, which only has integrated graphics. There's one more thing we want to show you. Like any device that can be plugged and unplugged, you can imagine a situation where you trip over the cord or you're just being uh, foolish and you unplug your external graphics card in the middle of doing something. On a typical notebook, or you would never have this on a notebook, on a desktop, if you took a graphics card and you yanked it out of the motherboard in the middle of playing a game, you would get the most horrible blue screen of death, you'd lose your work, it would be, it would be a crisis. But what happens here? Lucid has you covered. So if we're running this benchmark again, and we go, and while it's running, we take this cord and we just yank it. What happens on the screen is this particular application that we're running has to end, but it doesn't bring down the whole operating system. So you'll see in, a, in about a second or two, it's going to force close, 3D Mark, but it's going to take us back to our desktop where we now have just Intel HD graphics again, but our whole system wasn't brought down. We are totally free to relaunch the application and get back to what we were doing on integrated graphics as we take our notebook away with us and, and cry because we can't play games at as high a frame rate as we did when we were at our desk. This is Abram Pellis with Laptop Magazine looking at an exciting new concept from Lucid, external Thunderbolt graphics.